All right, we're going to start on our fruit kebab lab. For your fruit kebab lab, you're going to do a couple different knife cuts. So I'm going to show you what those are. So right here I have a watermelon, and I have a melon baller. And what you're going to do is you're going to parse in. And parse in means you just take this melon baller, and you're going to go into your watermelon like this, and kind of just go into a circle until it comes out like this. And I already have another one here. So you'll do a few of those for your fruit kebabs. And they should come out pretty easy. I'm just twisting around in a circle until it comes out just like this. I'm going to demonstrate for the lab our strawberries and we're going to slice them. So you can see here I already have some strawberries that are pre-sliced. So I'm going to take these strawberries and I'm just going to throw them into our bowl. And I'm going to show you how to use your knife to slice a strawberry. So what you'll do is you'll grab onto the strawberry and you're going to slice the top off just like that. And you can just put that to the side because we won't use it. And then you'll just take your knife and start slicing it just like this. And you want to make sure that you go all the way down until your strawberry is completely sliced. The next fruit that I'm going to show you is a kiwi and we're going to do something called a brunoise. So for a brunoise, we're going to take all the skin off and we're going to cut it in a way that it's a square shape. And once we have that square shape, we're just going to go and slice it. Uh, and turn it into thin little pieces of squares. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to cut off the ends of my kiwi so that I can stand my kiwi up like this really easily. It'll make it a lot easier to cut. So I'm going to go along the edges and get all that skin off, trying to get a square shape out of all of this. And you can see that what I'm left with is a skinless square piece of kiwi. So I'm just going to go down and cut thin slices of kiwi and you can add these onto your kebab. The next and last fruit that I'm going to show you guys how to cut is the apple and we're going to make large dices out of the apple. So this one's already cut in half but you'll need to cut in half your own apple and we don't want to eat the core so I'm going to scoop it out with the melon baller as best I can. Make sure to get all of those seeds out of there. Okay, So I've got the core out and now I'm just going to do large dices and we want these pieces to be big enough so that they're bite sized but they're not too small because we want them to fit on our kebab. So I'm just going to go down like this and take this piece of apple and just go down like this until I have some large pieces that will fit perfectly on my kebab. Now that you've cut all of your fruit, I'm going to show you how to assemble your kebab and we're going to go over what we did for each of the fruits. So you also have some marshmallows here and you can assemble your kebab in any way that you like. I'm going to start with the marshmallow. And then I'm going to take some kiwi and remember our kiwi, we use the brunoise method to cut that and I'm going to put that on. We sliced our strawberries and I'm going to take these strawberry slices. You might want to find one that doesn't have such a big hole in the middle and slide that on. And then this one, remember we use the method called Parsian. This is our watermelon and I'm going to slide that on as well. And then last but not least we have our apple which we just simply diced. I'm going to stick that on and you can put these in any order that you want to be creative. I'm just going to finish mine off with another marshmallow. And I have my fruit kebab. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to make the sauce for your fruit kebabs. It's a chocolate sauce. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your cream cheese, and it's already pre-measured out for you in two ounces, and you'll add that into your bowl. And then you're going to take half of your powdered sugar. So this is a fourth cup powdered sugar. You only need an eighth cup. You could either measure that out exact, or you can just eye it. I'm just going to eye it and get half of that powdered sugar in here. Then you're going to add your cocoa powder, which is going to give it that chocolate flavor. And then the last thing you're going to add is a fourth a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Okay. So what you're going to do now is you're going to whisk it until it's nice and smooth. It might be a little bit dry because we haven't added our whipped cream yet. But if your cream cheese is super soft, it will be a lot easier than this. So we will show you what happens when it's smooth. 
Okay, so now you can see that it's a little bit smoother after I mixed it. It was a little hard mixing it with the whisk, so I took a spoon and got all that cream cheese mixed in with the dry ingredients, and that's what's giving it that smooth texture. So your next ingredient is going to be one fourth cup of whipped cream. So you're gonna shake the can, and you'll go right into the fourth cup, and then add that to your sauce. Okay. Your last ingredient for the sauce is going to be the rest of your powdered sugar. So it's, again, it should be an eighth cup because we started with one fourth cup. And then we're just going to mix this all together until it just has that nice dark chocolatey color. And you can enjoy it with your fruit kebabs. So after you've prepared your chocolate sauce, you can put that on your kebab or you can dip it in. Um, you can put it on in a creative way. If it's really cold, it might be hard to do that, and that's why it looks like it would be better as a dip here. But you can do whatever your preference is and enjoy.